I'm really hating my hair at the moment. You know, you have those days where you just like, I just want to do a Britney Spears and shave my head because I'm really hating it at the moment. That's me. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something I haven't done for a while and that is a drugstore makeup haul. Recently, um, our chemists over here, what I guess you guys would call drugstores in America, um, have been having really good sales. So I've picked up a few different things. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Kalia. I upload makeup and fashion and lifestyle videos once a week. So if you subscribe down below, you won't be able to miss another moment. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Anyway, getting right into it. Um, one thing is not drugstore, I have to admit, but I thought I'd just include it anyway. Um, it's from Mecca Maxima. Just excuse the noisy packaging. I bought a new eye primer because, I, you know, if you're familiar with my videos, you know I always use the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and got it again because it's the best one. It's the one that works for me. I think this is my third tube. Um, they last me about a year, which is amazing um, and good because they are like $36, I think, here in Australia. So they're pretty expensive. But um, yeah, like the last time I bought one of these was in August last year and I'm just on the last, you know, little bit of that. So I thought I should pick one up while I'm at Mecca. Anyway, that was the only more expensive item. Uh, all the others are cheap from the drugstore. So first, let's start with some makeup sponges. I love my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponges. So I actually got four and I got these back in like August, I think. So I have been storing this stuff up for a little bit. Um, so I've used one. I'm currently using one and I've got two back up. Now I buy these from iHerb, which is so much cheaper than buying them from Priceline. Honestly, so much cheaper. I think I've got four of these for like $24 or something. Whereas normally here in Australia, I'm not sure how much you pay for one, but I'll put it here across the screen. Definitely saving money by buying them through iHerb. Another thing that I bought on iHerb, which I don't think you can get in Australia, um, it's by Physicians Formula and it is the Insta Ready Super BB Cream. I've been after something a little bit lighter coverage than a foundation to, you know, try out differently. Like I don't always want to wear a full foundation. I want to wear something lighter, something more breathable. I got the shade Light. Holy smokes, their definition of light is very dark. Um, I can pretty much only use this when I'm fake tanning. Um, in fact, I, I used this in my last video, which was my wedding anniversary get ready with me. And I was probably about two or three shades darker than what I am currently, which is my natural skin tone. Um, and it matched me perfectly then. Um, <laughs> so it's really, really dark. I seriously would not call that a BB cream, to be honest. It's so much like a foundation, it's very matte. It's actually quite full coverage as well. Um, so if you are after a BB cream, I would suggest not buying the Physicians Formula Insta Ready because it's not really your typical BB cream. The uh, price line that I visited for some strange reason and no other price line was having this special, just this particular one. They had a bin full of discounted nail polishes and there was Essie and there was, I think Sally Hansen, maybe some Revlon as well. And they were selling them for like $3.45 each, which is, mind-blowing because normally the normal retail price of an SE nail polish is like $16.95 really quite expensive um, but yeah for some reason I think maybe they were getting rid of um, like no longer selling SC polish in this particular price line so they might have just been getting rid of them anyway I managed to score two which I was very pleased about um, so first we've got now I know there is a town called Nice, um, but I'm not sure if this is Nice is nice or nice is nice or nice is Nice. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but it is a gorgeous light lavender cream. It is just so pretty. I did have this on my nails. I took it off just before I started filming. Why did I do that? I could have shown you. Um, but I do have it on my toenails, but I'm not going to show you that. The other spring sort of nail polish I got was Splash of Grenadine, um, which is 
such a gorgeous like pinky purpley color like it's, oh, it's so vibrant and beautiful the formula of this one is I would say it's more like a jelly more like a jelly formula rather than a cream but it, it goes opaque. It's absolutely beautiful. Love this one as well. I bought some new foundations. Well, one new foundation and, and two ones that I have tried and, you know, repurchasing. So this is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. It's a really popular one um, with a lot of people. So I wanted to try it myself. I bought the shade 103 True Ivory, which matches me pretty well, pretty good. Um, I have done a first impressions of this. I will link that above as well as down below in the description box. Yeah, if you'd like to see, you know, what else I thought about it as well as like me applying it and that sort of thing, then watch my first impressions of this foundation. Next, I uh, did a repurchase and I've been wanting to repurchase this for the longest time, but it's always sold out whenever I go there. And that is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I have the shade uh, 51, which I believe is called Light Vanilla. Yes light vanilla so it's the lightest in the bunch it's what I'm wearing today I love this foundation because one it's very yellow tone and I am yellow tone so ticks for that it's also a beautiful light color light enough for my skin it smells fantastic it's it, it, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it feels light on the skin did I say it smells really good because it smells really good so it's great first thing in the morning when you're like half asleep I love it and um, the other foundation that I bought was my good old Revlon color stay this is in the shade 330 uh, natural tan and the reason why I bought this which is like way too dark for me is because I use this foundation to mix in with others when I am fake tanning so I'm never this color when I fake tan like I would have to like put on multiple layers of fake tan to get to this shade um, but I do use it to mix in with my other foundations and it's a great mixer Revlon foundations mix lovely with other foundations good price pharmacy was having a 50% off most of their cosmetics sale um, and I saw this and I thought I have to buy it because it may be a dupe for my beloved Josie Moran coconut watercolor eyeshadow in Playa del Pink which they have discontinued let's let's move on from that no so this is the Revlon photo ready eye art so it comes with oh, in peach prism by the way is the name of the shade so it comes with a cream in one end and then the other end is a gorgeous stunning glitter it's like peach and gold and it's iridescent as well, like an iridescent glitter and like green and oh, it's so pretty. It's gonna be so much fun for Christmas time. Two things left. First of all, I ran out of my normal facial sunscreen. So I bought the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry to Touch Sunscreen, which is SPF 50. Um, my other sunscreen, which I'm running out of, which is right over there. It's called the, it's still by Neutrogena, um, Ultra Sheer Clear Face SPF 30 and I thought, I wanted a high SPF, so I went for the 50. I'm kind of regretting it because the SPF 30 was like really like, it was it had no extra oil, it wasn't oil based, um, no added oil. So it was nice and um, thin consistency and dried really quickly and you didn't even feel like you were wearing sunscreen. However, because I think because this one is SPF 50, you get that sunscreen feeling on your face, if you know what I mean. And having oily skin, it really feels uncomfortable. So I'm not sure if I can continue to use this. Um, it doesn't break me out or anything, which is fantastic because other SPF 50 sunscreens that I've come across for face, for for my face have broken me out. This one hasn't. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'll, I'll try to, pursue with it but if not then I might just go back and buy my original one and then lastly we have a dry shampoo because I use it like it's going out of fashion I got the Batiste dry shampoo 
Uh, this one is in coconut and exotic tropical because you know we're going into summer here. Uh, I also got it in the really large can because they were having a really good sale on it. So this is the 400 ml. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give it a thumbs up down below if you did indeed like it. I also have all the social media, so I have Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all those things. So I'll link all of those social medias down below. But thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.